Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. What I want to talk today about is a forefoot varus and what it is and what it can cause and how it can cause problems in other areas. So uh, this young lady is here today because she has an Achilles tendinopathy. Uh, this is looking much better over the last couple of days. We've done some RPW treatment and that has improved uh, quite significantly uh, actually in about three days. And this has been going on and off for quite a while. What we noticed is that she was having a lot of pain, especially in shoes that were not stable. So her heel was going back and forth. And the Achilles does not like to travel side to side this way. It likes to go straight up and down. So we're looking at, you know, what is the cause of this? Well, in looking at her heel position, it's nice and straight. But I look at her forefoot and I find that her forefoot is turned up and in into varus quite a bit more than her heel. So that's just at rest. So she's had some surgery in the past that kind of locked her up into varus. So what I want to show you is what, what forefoot varus is and how this can affect the backside of the leg. So what I do is I take the ankle and I find subtalar neutral. So I want to make sure that her subtalar joint is nice and neutral. I grab a hold of her fourth and her fifth um, toes, the metatarsal heads distally, and I bring her up and I lock that joint in place. Okay. Now from there, I've got her locked up. And what I notice here is that her heel is like this, but her forefoot is turned up like that still. So I want to see if she's able to drop that big toe down to the floor. Okay, and so I grab here over that first metatarsal and I try to bring it down. And as you can see, it does not drop. What I would like to see is for this to come down a quarter of an inch or so, so that it levels out with her heel and the fourth and the fifth toes. Okay, so now because this does not drop in order for her to touch the floor here, she needs to do this with her ankle. She needs to roll it out like that. So now this is on the floor. And when that happens, the Achilles curves too much and then gets to being irritated, inflamed, and then when it becomes chronic, it develops a tendinopathy. It becomes enlarged uh, and the fibers are, are malaligned. Uh, and then she could end up with a chronic pain problem, even if she does not have a lot of inflammation in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build her a custom orthotic that levels out the heel, the fourth and fifth metatarsal, but we're going to build up a little lift over here called a medial post. And we're going to get this forefoot to touch the ground at a, at a better time and keep the subtalar joint in a better position, nice and neutral so that Achilles rides nice and straight. So that is a f locked up forefoot varus and um, that is why she's developing uh, some of this Achilles trouble. So I hope that helped to explain, you know, why people can develop other problems from uh, this forefoot issue. I uh, hope you liked today's video and if you did, uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.